Well, good evening, everybody out there. Oh, man, this is going to be a night to remember. Coming to you live on City Town, talking none other than me, Brother Fonz, and the Rose family, ladies and gentlemen. I got Robert and Simone Mayo Rose, and boy, look, we are live. We are zooming into Central America, ladies and gentlemen. We're talking about the city of Belize. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a moment here for y'all to kind of like check in. Just check in, gives us some highs and all that kind of stuff. And I'm going to meet and greet y'all because I'm really, really ready to go. But that's all right. Let's see what we got. Let me see if we are live on my... So now what's going to happen is because we're in Central America, my, my phone going to want to show off now and not do what it normally do because I need to see that we are live right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reboot my phone. So y'all just hang in there because uh, I do want to acknowledge everybody that's tuning in first and it'll give uh, Rob and Simone just a second to, to gather themselves, get ready for this onslaught. <laughs> And Rob, you can smile anytime you want, though, because you're making me nervous. Don't do that. Ah, there you go. I got you. I got it. So we're restarting. And uh, let's see what's going on here. There's always something when it's, when it's te technology. I, I had one light just fell on the table. So that one's sad, crazy, but it's not going to deter us. And uh, I'm in the house by myself, so I don't have to worry about nobody slapping me but saying nothing wrong. We ain't going to do a Will Smith up in here. You know what I mean? This is my house. I don't want no trouble. I know Pam Depp is out there somewhere because she said 8 o'clock. Pam, wherever you are, Sister Roberta, I'm I'm tuning in. Just give me a second. It's going to be worth the wait. <clears throat> Let's see what I got here. Well, I tell you, these electronics are something else. All right, I think I'm, I'm almost there. We almost have liftoff. Let's see what I got here. Bam. Double bam. Hit it there. Let's see what I got. Because even if I can't see y'all. Oh, there we go. There we go. Look, I got three comments already. Now, let me see who's that. That's talking. I told y'all, thank you. Iris Holmes, it is good to see you this evening. Sister Iris Holmes, Bernadette Runner. Iris Holmes said, look. Hi, beautiful Queen Simone and her King Robert. I love you, sweetie. They loving you already. Bridget Smith has checked in. And look, I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, uh, y'all, you might as well screw your wigs on real tight. Because I know y'all was wondering where they was at and everything. Because now you see them, now you don't. Well, we're going to talk about why you don't and everything. Why don't y'all say good evening to the viewers out there? Good evening. Good evening. How everybody doing? All right, all right. Uh, Tion Holmes said, "My man, right? Hey, Tion, he is he is special, ain't he? We'll, we'll talk about all the good talks we had in Footstop, that brother, man. Bridget Smith said, "Hello, cousin. Oh Lord, see, they no more cousins. Everybody, cousin. Hey. He, he, even even it, Pamela Depp co commented on your video. I told you Pam was gonna be here, didn't I? Pam, I don't see you. Say you commented on the video. I don't see you, Pam. I need to hear you. Come on, talk to me." This is going to be a good show tonight, Tia. I want you to hold on. Screw your wigs on real tight because we got two good friends of mine, man. And when I found out, I went to uh, the sneaker store. And that's funny because me and Rob used to wait to meet at the sneaker store. I went to the sneaker store and brought some sneakers, running my mouth like I do. And Simone's daughter knew me and said, Mr. Bonds. And I said, hey, how you doing? She said, my mom is somewhere else. And I'm like, what? So look, they have graced us from where they are to be on the show tonight. So first, I want to ask both of y'all, where are y'all originally from? Start with you, Rob. Where are you originally from? I'm at, originally, I'm from New Jersey. Really? From uh, Lang City, New Jersey. But I've been in Pennsylvania since I was 18. I went to college down here. OK, what, what college you go to? Cheney University. No wonder I felt smart every time you came in the, in the store. Man, all of a sudden, I started thinking about <laughs> new stuff. Wait, what? Simone, come on, talk to me. Where you from? I'm from Coatesville. I'm from Coatesville, PA, born and raised. And 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 that you you're the Mayo clan, am I correct? Absolutely. There, there's quite a few of you Mayos, is it? Yes, there is. All right, all right. Yeah, I remember. Now that's good. <laughs> Sheila Hardy, 
and I always want to call you Shalia Hardy, but she just checked in. That is good. All right, so so Rob, now you graduated from somewhere in Atlantic City or Jersey, what? Yeah, Atlantic City High, and then um, I graduated on a Tuesday, and uh, Cheney called me on Friday and uh, told me to come on down. So I went down the, over the weekend, and I've been in PA ever since. All right, all right. Okay, so now, now what did you aspire to do and be when you got out of high school? You already knew what you wanted to do? Well, you know, everybody has uh, dreams of wanting to play sports, mm -hmm. but, you know, sometimes it don't go you, everything don't go your way. So uh -huh. I went to school and finished up. Simone, come on, talk to us. Take us on a journey from you, and you went to where? Where'd you graduate from? I graduated from Coatesville Area Senior High School in uh -huh. 1989, and uh, that was the extent of my education. And the rest of the things that you learned, you learned just by living life on life's terms, am I correct? Absolutely. Some of the biz biggest lessons you learn is in life as opposed to in college sometimes, you know what I mean? So, right. so that's good. Hey, Therese Allen just checked in. Therese, it is good to see Nigeria Jackson. Nigeria Hi. Jackson said, hey, cuz. Hey, cuz. <laughs> hey, look, I got your family on here straight from Central America by way of the city of Belize. And I, I just like the way it rolls off my lips. Belize. <laughs> we going to talk about Belize. Fine. Belize is a country, fine. Why I keep thinking Central Messi? Thank you. See, I thought Central America was a country and Belize was a city in Central. Yes, is on... Belize is a, is a country, right? Yo, they moved to another doggone country. Lord, we don't <laughs> want to talk about this. Wait, Jane Boyer, uh, you must be special. Jane rarely ever comes on my show. Okay. Jane, it is good to see you. Jennifer Rosado, I love saying Spanish names. I like the way the R rolls off my tongue. Jennifer, it's good to see you. Alexander Boo Norman Jr., top of the evening to you. And we're all going to hang out at that scholarship lunch on April 30th. Um, our crew is going to give away cash money to students and everybody. All right, I'm going to stop running my mouth. I got more Q&A here. Let me see. All right, okay. Now, Rob, what did you do when you was in Coatesville? I imagine you was in Coatesville. What did you do? Um, I worked for the uh, Department of Corrections and Activities. I was activities manager. Basically, what, we, what the manager does is provide an outlet for the men mm -hmm. as far as sports, arts, mm -hmm. music, yeah, anything to take their mind off being incarcerated. Good, 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 good. You, you, you really like that job too. I mean, I, I've listened to you talk about it, and you've definitely had a passion for it, man. Uh, it, it, you could relate to the men in there. What was going on? Yeah, well, I'm a gym rat, so it was pretty much easy to be around the guys with sports, as far as like football, basketball, softball, volleyball, soccer. We did all mm -hmm. that kind of stuff in there. That's the type of stuff I like being around. Simone, I think I remember you from Pastor Keith Wilburn's uh, Coatesville Kids to College. Now, what, what did you do there, and, and did you like it, or what was going on? Yeah, absolutely. I enjoy volunteering in the community and just helping to, um, you know, be an example for the children the best I could and encourage them, you know, to stay in school and do their best to go on and, and go ahead to college if that was what they wanted to do. And, and 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 look, please post the link. Everybody telling me to post the link. I don't know how to do that. But uh, bro, the, the community needs people like you. I mean, our children can never have enough mentors and everything, man. That's what makes this city grow and it helps our children immensely. Quantella Myers just checked in. Quantella, how you doing? You know, they must know y'all on because they don't they don't come on my show. Yeah, y'all don't even be on my show like that. Get out of here, Miles. Get out of here, Miles. I, I'm just saying, I'm I, I don't want no trouble. But I'm just saying, now, come on now. Let's get to the love story. Let's get to y'all love story a little bit. Hey, let's share, let's share a little bit. How did y'all meet and, and and tell us? And how long have y'all been together? Come on, come on, somebody just jump right in. We met at the strawberry festival. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. <laughs> and and it was, was it was it like uh bam, I, I need to be in her life and you and you need to be in it. Uh, how did this thing was you shy? How did how did you approach the situation? It was like we knew each other already. 
when we met at the Strawberry Festival, we just started talking, having a conversation, just random. And then we've been conversating ever since. Yeah, now, it's been what? Huh? 20, 24 years. What? Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. That is, that is, that is sweet. Now, now, let me ask you a question. This is a personal question. Now, first of all, Rob, how tall are you? Six eight. Simone, how tall are you? Five foot two and a half. Five foot two and a half, because that half's important. <laughs> let me yes, ask you a question. Did uh did height ever make a challenge, feel like a challenge or anything, or it just wasn't even important? How does it work? How did it work? I just she love puts it. everything I love... down low. Huh? In the cabinet, all the stuff, she puts everything low. I let it bend down. I put everything up high. That's about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I love y'all guys, man. That is so nice. Let me see. Oh man, this is just too much. This is too much. I love this. I love this whole thing. Yvonne Turner has checked in. Yvonne, you know this couple's up here? Simone Mayo Rolls and Rob Rolls. They see you with the cakes is watching. It's good to see y'all. Oh, they're checking in. They're checking in, y'all. Hey, look, if y'all got any questions, you better put it in the chat box. I ain't got no problem. Vanilla McFadden, top of the evening to you. It is good to see you. You know I normally have City Town Talk on Tuesday night, but for this, we're definitely doing Wednesday night. Plus, I was real tired last night. I'm telling you, I, I, I'm going to tell the truth. All right, now, now, now. So, so, so y'all been in love 24 years. You, you've been in Coatesville. You said all your life. Uh, Rob, Lisa has been somewhere else. So what is it like one day y'all woke up and said, let's go move to another country? <laughs> no, not quite. We, um, if you know those little things that you get in the mail, I forget what they're called every year. And it just gives you like the amount of money that you will receive with retirement or social security or, or whatever it is. Uh -huh. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, pretty much. Pretty much. Right. So it gives you like your monthly income if you were to retire or whatever. And, you know, that was a little concerning to us. Um, so we were starting to consider other places where that amount would be feasible um, monthly, you know, if we were to retire or uh, get on Social Security or, or things of that nature, we needed to make sure that it was going to be enough to sustain, sustain us. And, and in the States, it was really, we were going to have to work forever. <laughs> you ain't lying. <laughs> So y'all, y'all, y'all planned and plotted this thing out. Your dollars and cents and everything. Now, are both of y'all retired now? Yes. Well, Rob is formally retired. I, you know, I, I yeah. just quit. <laughs> I just made up my mind. Enough is enough. <laughs> I like it. I like it. I like it. Kira Oliver checked in. Iris Holmes said Simone came from a long line of servants helping in the community, the Jackson family. That's See, true. Yeah people, be, yeah, people be knowing y'all. That is so good. All right. Now, had any one of y'all ever been there before? No, actually, I had never even been out of the country. Um, I had never been out of the country. Yeah, right. I've been other places, but I've never been to Belize, like Jamaica, the Bahamas, places like that, but I've never been yeah. to Belize until now. All right. and, and that was basically on some sort of vacation where you you see the best of yeah. things, and you're only there for a few days and go back home. Okay. All right. Exactly. All right. All right. All right. Now, was y'all nervous, scared? And if you were, let, let's talk about the emotions that y'all went through to take this jump. Because this is like one of the biggest moves that a person can make. What was it like? <laughs> kidding me? We were terrified. It, it was very, very scary. Like, you just don't know what you're going to meet when you get to a new country. You have uh -huh. no idea what to expect. Um, I did know someone here. I had an acquaintance and they put uh, put me in contact with a guide. So um, I had a person here to help me navigate and become established here. Um, help me find some place to stay and, and all my paperwork and things of that nature. But yeah, we were terrified. It, because, I mean, the United States is the United States, and there's not many places just like it. All right. Yeah. All right. So, okay. So, Iris has a question. 
Why did y'all choose Belize? And Bridget wants to know what's the cost of living? Uh, we chose Belize. First of all, we did know someone that was here um, and, and they gave us a, a lot of good information. Um, we chose Belize also because it is an English speaking country. So we did not have to learn another language. Uh, um, the cost of living, it is 50 cents on the dollar here. So basically if you have $1, you have two. Mm -hmm. If you have one US dollar, you have two Belize dollars. Uh -huh. Now, now, okay. And it's very affordable, cost of living, very affordable. Now, here's the question for me that I really, that I just kind of like got some information right before the show. All right. Rob, how did you get to Belize? Look, Foz, you're not going to believe this. <laughs> <clears throat> I, um, Simone met a, met a guy who's they call a travel broker. Uh, and the travel broker flew to Philly on a Saturday night. I met him at the Philadelphia International Airport put him in a hotel room. We left Sunday morning. I drove from Philly to Belize. So it took me a week to get here. It took me 4,000 miles. And I got here on a Friday night at 10 p.m. <laughs> I, drove hear what through, just said. <laughs> I drove from Philly to Texas. And then he drove from Texas to Mexico. And then we got to the border of Belize. And then I drove the rest of the way here. Man, I'd have been scared to death, man. First of all, I'd have been scared to meet the guy that you met that you put up in the hotel. I'd be like, who this dude? That, you know, and that takes a lot of faith, courage. And Kira just said the same thing I'm saying. Kira always said, wow. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. So, so you drove from one country. So evidently no water was involved unless there was a bridge or something, right? Uh, no. no. <laughs> just I land. Straight through. Yeah. From Philadelphia to Belize, I drove 4,000 miles. You, you probably got a real big car because you are six foot eight, man. So what kind of car do you drive? <laughs> uh, SUV, I hope. Huh? Yeah, I got a pickup truck. Okay. Oh, man. That, you, you're special, man. Okay, Robert Johnson checked in. QB Quentin Brown is on the set. And Kathy Wilson has checked in. If y'all don't know who we have here and why we are together, we have the Rose family who has moved. I kept calling the city. They moved from Coatesville, Pennsylvania, to the beautiful country of Belize, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, now wait. Let me ask you about. Let me ask you about the country. There's a lot of bushes. It's like Africa. They, they got real cars, cement. Come on, tell us what it's like up there in Belize. It's rainforest. It's, huh? yeah, it's the rainforest. It's like a jungle. It's the rainforest. Oh, y'all back to nature and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> well, we actually <laughs> live in the town, but yeah, okay. It's, okay. It's surrounded mm -hmm. by the jungle. Yeah. There's All a city right. here, there's a capital. It's just like being in the States, but you're in another country and things are a little slower than being over in the States. But there's a, there's a capital here, there's a big city. They have a government. It's just like, it's a regular thing. Hey, yeah. Rita Brown has checked in. Hey, Rita Brown, we have Robert and Simone Mayo Rose. I like saying all three of those names. And she makes sure that you say it, because that's how she signs that thing. My name is Simone Mayo Rose. Don't forget it. Hey, Rita, so we have her on Levi Bo Worthington. Uh, it's good to see. If y'all don't know why we are here, I, I'm international now. City Town Talk is going international. I'm zooming into the country of Belize, okay? Look it up on the map. It's a real country. Now, all right, so here's one of the questions I know people want to want to ask. Do you have a Wawa, Turkey Hill, Wal Walmart, and Tasty Gate? Oh, no. no, hell no. Not oh, at all. Uh-oh. <laughs> now we got a problem. What do y'all do for coffee and all that other stuff? Come on, tell us about the culture. Yeah, well, I think that coming here, you make a huge sacrifice when it comes to convenience. Like, there, of course, there's no convenience stores. There's plenty of stores where you can get what you need. But um, if you want a, a latte, you have to make your own, OK? So I make my own coffee and anything else that I want, I have to make it. So you must be willing to um, to uh, be inconvenient. There's no, not much convenience. So, so Rob, have you met any friends? Have y'all made friends? And wait a minute, how long y'all been there? Let me get them. Well, I, go ahead. 
Um, I've been here for a little over a year. I came in January of 2021. Okay. And Rob, so you just kind of like just got there, right? Yeah. I just got here in January because I still had to work and I had to uh, retire and do my get all the paperwork and stuff done to get here. So I got here in January and in February, I was in a three on three tournament. Me and the, my team won the tournament. I've been deep sea fishing. I've been dirt bike riding. I've been having a ball, man. Now, did you used to do this in the, in the States when you was in America or you just started doing that since you've been there? No, I always played in different types of tournaments and always yeah. went deep, you know, fishing and stuff like that. Oh, okay. So it's just carried on to coming over here. Hey, team, team, Katina Milbourne has checked in. Katina, look. Hey, this team! Is, <laughs> this is the show of the year now. All right. All right. Bridget wants to know what's the best time to visit because it looks like you're getting ready to have company. <laughs> well, it depends on uh, what you like because it's always warm here in Belize. So, if you like cooler weather, I would say come from October to January. If you like warmer weather, February to like September, because we're going into the dry season. Wow. Okay. Or the dry season. Last Thursday was 109. What? 109? Last Thursday, 109. I know y'all got air conditioning, right? Nope. Oh, y'all playing now? <laughs> uh, no. How do you do it? Wait a minute. How, how do you we do live that? up we live up high. high we live you, up high and we're like three blocks from the ocean so we have a beautiful sea breeze coming in right now yep wow oh that's gotta be nice okay sheila wilson checked in daria turner that's my buddy that's my fam right there daria it's good to see daria this is like amazing okay. and, and, and daria if you're missing any of this you just gotta get the rerun or something man because this is amazing anthony brown just checked in i got more people checking in than uh uh, Hotel Six. I'm there checking in, and they're not checking out. Anthony, I see you. Okay, so now, okay, so and now, do they have like steaks and hoagies? Do they make that, or they got a different name for or variation of some of the meals that they have? Do they have fried chicken? Yes. 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 All right. They do have fried chicken. No cheese steaks. No hoagies. Um, I wouldn't consider it pizza but they do sell pizza, but it's not what we're used to. So, you know, I've been very creative. I've been in that kitchen, believe it or not, and making whatever it is I desire. I heard that. Now, Bridget says, I like that type of weather. Anything beats this Chicago weather. Bridget, I think Bridget is the one that I made some sort of a uh, gift for her and shipped it out to Chicago because I'm always engraving and doing that kind of stuff. So what else we got? Okay, so Shalia Hardy said, hi, cousin Sheila. Oh, she's talking to Sheila Wilson. They having a conversation with each other on here. That is nice. I like to bring people together. Pam Depp, finally, I see I seen your name over here, but I didn't see your name here. It's good to see you. You know who's calling out your name, right? So Pamela Depp said, yo, hey, how y'all doing? So Pam, I got your peoples on here. Now, what other questions? All right. Now, is there is there a lot of, uh, is there a lot of, in wait, wait a minute. What, what kind of money y'all got? Is it like oh, um, they got their own money? Is, yes, Belize yes. has their own money. Uh, yeah. yeah. They have the queen on there. Oh, okay. the queen is on their, on their money. Queen Elizabeth, <laughs> yes. Oh, so this is some sort of, I forget the name of what it is when it's under British rule, is it? Yeah, it, it was a province. It was a province at one point in time. Okay. But we did gain their independence from right. from um, Britain. That queen everywhere, ain't she? Got her, yes, big, she is. got her big head on everything. I'm going on somewhere. But anyway, <laughs> Pamela Depp said, hey, cousin, uh, I better stop talking like that. Uh, Lawrence Depp, he evident he's sharing the video. Hey, look, that's right, everybody. Hey, Barbara Lowe, it's good to see you, Barbara. You are so crazy. I just love you to death. Uh, that's right. We're going to rock. We're going to rock the boat. Ain't nobody playing with nobody. Hey, everybody that's listening, you know, it's nice to like these videos or, or these posts, but it's better to share. So share this because your friends might not be my friends. And we want everybody to hear this. And we want y'all to know where they went. And the other one minute, they, they just gone. Like, what happened? And be it not for me buying some sneakers, I still wouldn't know where they were at. That's the wrong way to use the preposition at. Okay, but that's besides the point. All right, here we go. Do I have any other questions? So what's the popular transportation that y'all have there? 
Um, I ride a bicycle. Oh, I have a I have a pickup truck and a and a dirt bike. Because okay. the gas is so high here, and, uh, it's more economical to have a dirt bike and you know go around and get you know get your goods and services and stuff sure. like that. Sure. How, what's the gas like over here, so we can feel better about what we're paying over here? What is it? And thirteen dollars a gallon. <laughs> and you got a big pickup truck. I know you keep that part. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that's that's your check. Fill my tank up, and I'm just not going to eat for the rest of the month. All right, so you heard it first. You come over, get yourself a little moped, and act like you know. Put a put a basket or something on the back, and go shopping. <laughs> Shonda McCain has checked in. Shonda, do you know these two people? If you do, give them a high and a hell no. All right. So when y'all came here, both of y'all was already retired, so you didn't have to look for a job or nothing. You just dug in. Right. Yeah. And plus, even if we wanted to be employed, you would have to be in Belize for two years and apply for a work permit um, before you could actually become employed in this country to make sure that you're not like um, taking positions from the original residents. All right. So, so what's, what's, have you checked and seen what the salary, salary structure is? Is like, do they have a minimum oh. wage or what's going on? Yeah, um, unfortunately, the minimum wage here is like three dollars and fifty cents an hour. All right, so just every now and then, every now and then, when we be complaining about some stuff, we we might want to think yeah. and look a little further than where we are to realize there are people that's doing a little bit worse than us. And I'm just saying, uh, that's just for me. Absolutely. Three dollars right. an hour, man. And they probably work like a research monkey. Yeah, because it's, it's hot. Yeah. <laughs> they get the butter from the duck, don't they? She said, yes, <laughs> right. <You> better know <laughs> it. <laughs> say it is hot. Okay, now, okay, we asked that. What is the population of Belize, you know? Um, it's about 400,000 people in Belize. It's, okay. it's a small country. So do y'all have buses, subways, anything like that? Oh, yeah, there's buses here. Um, no subways because we live way down on the tip of Belize. We live in the southern part of Belize. We're only an hour from Guatemala, but um, it's more built up up in the northern part. That's mostly where people vacation and they have the tourism. Um, so that's a little bit more. You have more transportation choices up there. Hey, good evening, Claudia T. Palmer. You are late again, but I always love it when you check in. Catch it on the replay. Catch it on the replay. So now look, are there many Americans where y'all at? Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. they White running, and black. Huh? White and black. They running from the American right. economy too, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everybody, everybody fleeing. Oh, mm -hmm. too much, too much. Now, so do you miss Coatesville and the States much? Yeah, well, I miss Coatesville, um, the States, not so much, no. Okay. Um, but I miss Coatesville. I like that feeling of knowing somebody every, everywhere you go. Uh, and, you know, just seeing people that you know, because it's, I don't know many people here yet, mm -hmm. but I plan on, you know, getting to know, but I, I do miss Coatesville. Yeah, and then, oh, okay, so now, all right. I, for the people that didn't listen, now Pam wants to know what what made what what made you make this choice. Uh, if you want, you can go back over that. But my my question for you is: Now y'all were scared, but what was the final final thing when you said we're gonna do it anyway? What was that like? You just said the heck with it, bam! Uh, what did what did you? How did you do it? Because we're young, and you can you can make a decision. I'm not sixty or seventy years old. I'm yeah. still in my early 50s. I retired, mm -hmm. and I can still always come back home if I want. I have choices. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My viewers, y'all, yeah, I think y'all might want to take a little lesson from this couple, because from what I understand, uh, they were they had fear involved in making this major change, but they did it anyway. And now that they're on the other side of fear, because there is a a renowned poet who said, everything you want is on the other side of fear. 
And once you got to the other side of here, yeah, y'all just tickle pink. Look at y'all, just happy. She got the big glasses <laughs> on. You looking stately with that black and gray beard. Y'all just doing good. You put your pickup truck on the side, got yourself a little moped, because gas is $13 a gallon. Look, you are doing all right. Uh, yeah. Wait a minute, Claudia said, you trying to say 60 and 70 years old? Hey, yeah, one of my viewers said, what are you trying to say, Rob? 60 and 70 years old? Because okay. I am 72. Yeah, but, uh, but, but the viewer said that. She wanted to know. No, no disrespect, sis. <laughs> but I'm just saying, I want to be able to have some choices at a young age. Ain't nothing wrong with that, man. God bless you. And a lot of people be stuck until they die, man, afraid to make a choice that might make a difference in their life. Pam says she loves you, Simone. Simone. I love you too, Pam. Named after that I famous singer, <laughs> Nina Simone. And, uh, yeah. and Claudia, the choir sound great. The great was it Sunday. I, I think I heard your voice too. It was fantastic. Dwayne Smith checked in. Dwayne, it is good to see you. I don't see you often. You need to go, look, as soon as this thing posts, you need to listen to it all over again. We got Coast Billions. We got Atlantic City, New Jerseyans here, and they took the big leap. They said, we up out of here. And uh, if you didn't hear it early, Rob wanted out of here so bad that he drove from one country to another country. Now, that's wanting to get to where he got. He's trying to get to his wife. He wasn't playing. He was like, <laughs> Ain't no matter, no many miles is going to get in the way of that. Okay. Levi says, shout out to the Salt and Pepper Beer Brothers. No, we ain't old. Ah, uh, my man, Levi Bo Worthington. Yes, sir. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. All right. See, you, you answer a lot of the questions. Nightlife. Y'all have a nightlife. Go to the club, the bongo. What do y'all got down there? <laughs> they, they have a city, a city here, and it's like a, a real nightlife there. Actually, there's a guy who was a rap famous rapper named Shine, and he mm -hmm. went to jail. He was signed with P. Diddy, uh -huh. and where he's from is like real a real heavy nightlife. Mm -hmm. Down here, it's more like it's more low key and more slow and subdued. There's yeah. some local bars, local bars here. But when we got here, we were still um, in the pandemic mm -hmm. and we were locked down on curfew. It was a curfew at 8 p.m. when I moved here. It just yeah. lifted yeah. maybe a month or so ago. And y'all can be together, no need no matters and everything like that. So, so Rob, when you first landed, everybody wanted to know if you played basketball, didn't they? Everybody I signed like 20 autographs. I was signing autographs and everything. <laughs> but ladies and gentlemen, for those of you who just getting on, Rob is six foot eight, and he's every bit of every inch of that six foot eight. So I can imagine I look, I know you as a star. And they probably thought Simone was your sister. <laughs> nah, they know they know who she is. Uh, there you go. That's what I'm talking about, big dog. That's what I'm talking. Man, this is so good. Donna Lewis Bain, where you been? You know I come on at eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. We're having a good conversation. And you said, now, all right. So now, two retired people. What's a day in your life like? Just wake up and then what you do? Well, I get up. I have a cane corso, so I get up and I feed him. We, we walk like a mile, maybe two miles, come back home. On certain days, every Wednesday, I go deep sea fishing. And every Sunday, I go, um, I play in a basketball league. Are you are you the tallest one in, on your league? No, there's some big guys here. Really? Now, King, Cor competition. Good. King Corso, isn't that a big dog? Yeah, master. Yeah, he's he, he's he's enormous. Y'all Google a King Corso so you can see what he's walking two miles with. Oh my goodness, that's all right. Okay, Simone. Now he's walking his dog. He deep sea. Do you deep sea fish with him? So what do you? Not do? at all. I, no, not at all. I am home. I have a I have a puppy that I got here, so I'm tending my puppy. I have a cat that I have here. And mm -hmm. I'm out on my front veranda and back veranda. I'm planting and uh, growing, growing flowers. Man, y'all go hear them. They got verandas where they live at. Ain't that something? All I got is this pole out back. What the devil? I didn't even know. Veranda. Isn't that on uh, <laughs> all my children or something? Go ahead, y'all. They like the Jeffersons. They moving on up. and They moved out and then they moved on up. Okay, Christopher Bottom is checking in. I believe Christopher's out there in New York City. 
Hey, Dre Money said, what's up, Rob and Simone? Hey, hey what's up, Dre? Uh, let me tell you something about Dre Money. He's on a billboard now here in Coastville. As he should be. Hey, yes, cool. he, he, yeah. on a, he on a digital billboard. I'm just glad that I that I, he answers the phone when I call him. This guy, man, you know what I mean? I don't know whether to call him, ask for an autograph or what, but we're doing some things together, and it's so good to see Joanne Richardson. Joanne, it's good to see you, and you know what, Joanne? Uh, we have Rob and Simone, and they live in the country of Belize, and I know you and your husband went to so many different countries with uh, photography. I'm wondering if you've ever been there or close. So let me ask you, why did I say South America? I mean, South America. No. Or is it, did I say Central, Central America? What is it, South Central. America? So why does Central. it say, when I Googled it, it had all this stuff about Central America in there? I'm going to throw a brother off. I don't, I don't know. know. <laughs> and Belize is their own country. That is amazing. All right. So now, and they, what's they, your Creole? Uh huh. Their their language is Creole, but they also speak English. Okay. Yeah, wow. Which, wow. Yeah. All right. So we talked about transportation. We talked about the nightlife. Y'all shared about the dialect. You didn't have to learn a new language. You said this, and uh, all right. What was the hardest thing for y'all to get used to? when you moved there? Mm. Probably being awakened in the morning by chickens. Mm. Cock-a-doodle-doo. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Wow. And, and then they crow, they crow all day. All day. <laughs> yeah. She said all day. All right. day. Now y'all get to TV stations and everything, right? Yeah. 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 You, yep. you get American stations or y'all get something strange or something different? You get everything. We I just watched both. the tournament. I just was watching the tournaments and everything. Wow. And, but no air <laughs> condition. Uh oh. All right. Levi want to know about fish, Rob. What kind of fish are you catching down there? I really, me personally, I look for the red snapper. I like snapper. That's, that's my favorite fish. So when I go, I use my bait, I use is shrimp. And I go out deep sea with the shrimp and try to catch red snapper. That's just the fish that I like. Okay. But let me tell you, these, huh? these boys here are good. They don't use a pole. We're coming from the States, we're used to using a pole and sticking. We just all right with the pole. These guys use their hands and a string and put hooks on the string and catch the fish like that. I seen a dude catch a moray eel with his bare hands, man. It's googly goo, just slam his face in the water or something. <laughs> Come up with a fish. <laughs> no, I'm saying with the with the string that we use for a fishing pole, uh -huh. he had he had hooks on there and bait on there and caught a moray, no, caught a stingray. A stingray. And stingray. pulled the string with stingray up out of the water with his bare hands. <laughs> Unbelievable, man. But but I'm not a fish, I'm not a fisherman, but I know about fishing and I sit and I'm trying to envision that. That is I'm not gonna say prehistoric, but that's hands, amazing. A stingray with his bare hands. We didn't know what he had on there. I thought he had a shark. <laughs> oh, man. Wow. Okay. All right, Levi, you got your answer. Pam Depp said she coming to visit, and she will, because she goes out there with, uh, uh, oh, 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 what is it? Oh, Oreo Sana. Well, she goes all in the country. So Pam said she coming to visit. Y'all might as well get the extra room made up, because she's yep. coming. Oh, man. <laughs> i tell you, Pam evidently did this. It's it's wearing good on them. They look happy. I mean, it's 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 good. I, I I'm trying to think of what else. Just I have a well. Oh God, it's amazing. Okay, now you. How long did it take you to fly to Belize, Simone? Well, since we I was flying and traveling during the pandemic, I couldn't get a straight flight. So uh, my best friend accompanied me down here. We stopped in Miami. We had an overnight in Miami. And then from Miami, it was two hours to Belize. Wow, wow. Y'all got some good friends, and so, too. But Yeah, we got into Belize City, but then we had to take an, another little flight, a little puddle jumper, and that was an hour to get down here to Punta Gorda, where we live. And of course, you need passports and all that stuff, right? You yeah, definitely yeah, need a passport. Yes. Um, every, every month or so, I mean, you can go every two or three months. It depends on, you know, how money, how much you pay, but you do have to go to immigration. If you decide to stay, you have to check in once a month, or like I said, two to three months. 
and um, you know. And would you have to do that for a couple of years until you become a permanent citizen? Yes. Yeah. Um, after a year, you're able to apply for citizenship. So I'm in the process of applying for citizenship right now. But yeah, I don't miss your immigration. <laughs> so, so, so are the kids? Did you? Matter of fact, how many children do y'all have? We have three. Are, are they going to come and visit y'all, or you 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 wrote them off? Uh, what happened? <laughs> We're trying to get them to come down here, but you know they they in the states doing their thing. So, yes. just send them our love and hope they come on down. Well, we made we made sure that they all had passports before we left. Okay, good. that's all that's we good. can do. That is good. Man, this, this has been an enjoyable, I want to say 40 minutes, 41 minutes. I want to see if there's any questions I missed because I don't even want to let y'all go because this is like different. Woo-wee. Uh, I think I almost asked you everything. Now, look, all right. Since I don't have no more questions, okay. I want each of y'all, because this is how I end every show. And some of my viewers out here, uh, when they come up to life-changing decisions, they don't make it. They don't make the choice. They they just drift back, knowing good and well they need to do some need to do something different. And I know fear, all kinds of stuff. You know, the belief that they can't succeed, all those kind of things make us do that. So I want each one of you, uh, uh, you pick who goes first, but leave some parting comments, inspiration, viewpoints, whatever, to the viewers. Mm -hmm. Who's first? Do you want me to pick them? Do you want me to volunteer, y'all? No, I'll go first. Anything that you want to do in life, just go ahead and do it so you don't have a bunch of, so don't always second guessing yourself. I should have did this. I should have did that. Don't be scared to fail. Just go ahead and do it. You can always come back home to the, to your loved ones and they'll open their arms up to you and you'll be fine. I like that. Don't be afraid to fail. Man, ain't that the biggest reason why people don't do so? Only person that don't fail is a person that don't never do nothing. <laughs> Simone, come right. on, going home. Yeah, ain't that the truth, though? Right. Well, um, the only thing that I would say is I would encourage you just to go ahead and follow your heart and whatever it is that you're considering, uh, just just give it a try. There's really no harm in that. I think that's a good way to close. I like that. I like that. Now, let's see. Uh, let me see. Levi said, love this. May God watch over both of you. Very inspiring. I told you you was going to inspire somebody. I told them that before the show, Levi. I said, you know what? Some of that stuff y'all say is going to inspire somebody. Pam Depp said, God is able. Amen. I second that emotion, oh, emotion, or whatever. Whatever. Hey, look, we're going to have a carnival, the Juneteenth Carnival down here at Gateway Park, June 14th oh, and 18th. Wow. In case you're in the neighborhood, just stop on in. You know what I mean? Check your passport. Let's come on down. Say, I'm going to hang with Fonz and them for a little bit. Then we're going to go on back home. You never know. You never know. Hey, God, I already said, God bless you both. It's good to see my bonus niece, Simone, Ted, and I love you. That is good stuff. We love you, too. Hey, look, hey Fonz, before we go, one last thing. I just want to say, assalamu alaikum to all the Muslims. And inshallah, they have a good Ramadan. All right. I heard that. You heard it first, ladies and gentlemen. That's all right. We're going to call it an evening, man. It, it, it was a beautiful thing. I can't wait. Thank to you, Khan. Thanks I, for having us. We appreciate it. Man, thanks for coming on. I was like, man, they don't want to be bothered with me now that they live in the high, loose, and all that. Bridget, Bridget Smith said, stay safe. She's got hard to You'll be able to see all the comments on here. Juneteenth. That's right. June 14th to the 18th. Be there or be square. Uh, Pamela Depp said, I want to be a part of Juneteenth. Well, Pam, just... We can talk. You know, we can talk. I can, I'm going to tell you exactly what we're doing, how it's going to happen, and we're ready to blend and incorporate the whole city. Um, but, you know, we'll talk. We'll talk. Look, everybody, if nobody's told you that they love you today, man, I definitely love you. And they must love y'all to get on here and share their story. I appreciate the two of them so, so much. Uh, my my store closed down because Rob came and stopped buying shorts from me, so I had to close up. Couldn't sell anything else. <laughs> Uh, wait a minute. Autumn Celeste, who's coming in late, says, love y'all, proud of you. Do you know Autumn Celeste? Yeah, that's yes, my daughter. That's love our you daughter. Too. Love you, too. That's your daughter. That's baby girl. Love you, too, Peanut. 
Well, hey, Peanut, why didn't you get on the show earlier? So you'd be playing too much. <laughs> That's besides the point. Catch it on the replay because it's going to be playing over and over and over again. But like Brother Fom said, no, not Brother Fom. I'm going to stop talking about myself in the third person. Like I said, if nobody right. told that they love you today, man, I love y'all. I want you to have a great day. Uh, Joanne Richardson, who is real special in my heart, said thank you for sharing your story. It is a blessing and an inspiration. You remember everybody out there within the sound of my voice that Coatesville is rising in spite of what you uh, heard. <laughs> Coatesville is moving up, and it will move up either with you or without you. That's all I got, because that's all I got. I want everybody to have a good night. Take care. God right. bless you. Peace out. Bam. Take care. God bless y'all. The roll. You too. All right.